Apex, the peak of South African motoring. Thanks for buying oh, me coffee. Baby seats. I thought the baby was here. I'm not taking. I'm not I, bringing I the baby with. <laughs> sure, man. Okay, cool. On that note, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's like a, a solid opener on any nice discussion. It's like cute little pink feet. That it's very cute to see o'clock in the morning. Oh no, definitely not. <laughs> Don't have a child. Got my vasectomy okay. appointment <laughs> nice. in five days. That's fine. Yeah. It's, just, okay. just, it's a lot of work. It's more work than you think, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be worth it one day. I'm sure. But, but listen, I also have never been the person to watch other people play TV games. I've always been that kid that's like, if I'm not playing, I'm not watching. Televisi Rekana Spilkis. Nice. <laughs> so, baby, you guys are pretty stoked, and I believe you're getting married. Yeah, so getting married at the end of the year. Um, I'm very excited about it. I actually proposed way before we found out well okay so I started planning the proposal way before we found out that Amber was pregnant I bought the ring and everything but I had quite a grand idea to propose to her at salt and um, do it as a TV insert but because of COVID it kept pushing it back then she got pregnant and I had the ring and everything and I was like no this is like such a disaster people are not gonna think this is planned oh I, I mean I don't care about that but it was just like one it, like hill after the next you know like going like oh COVID then pregnant then it's first trimester then it's COVID restrictions again next wave oh. I was like oh no this is never gonna happen uh, and then eventually it did so you stuck. did it in style like yeah, geez, you. you're I'm making pretty proud everybody of that, yeah. look pretty crappy I'm pretty proud of that. that was fun it was lo loads of fun so I know a lot of people say it's not really work if you get to play but that's a lot of work like I watch the grinding you put in I watch the video production and kind of look at it from that angle I get tired. We do one, maybe two videos a month if we feel like it. Um, yeah, like you kill it. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people don't understand. Like as content creators, like the business of content creation is very, like it's it's very hard. It's time consuming. It's very draining. It's all encompassing. And then the other side of it is that you've pre you, you're presenting an entertainment package, yeah. and on the front end of that entertainment package is the good stuff. It's like having a great time, it, it, the, the positive things of the, 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 the devices you're using and the games that you play because you don't want, you want people to be entertained, you don't want people to be like bogged down by like, yeah. watching like a, like, like a dep Whoa. I'm depressed and tired, like why, why, <laughs> like why would I bother watching another depressed and tired person make content? So like you just see like the, the, the tip of the iceberg of this like massive like production that you are necessarily for the most part doing it yourself. Yeah. I mean, I, like, fortunately, I have uh, sometimes people helping me, but like at the end of the day, it's like it's a it's project. Um, yeah, and it's 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 tough. I don't think people understand that side of the content creation world. No, by, okay. by you watch shows. a video and you like, you just think, okay, well, nice. Somebody had a little tripod there, maybe a little light, and yeah. that's kind of where the bucks. TikTok, so let's go. Yeah, and uh, you've got to make this stuff as, you, and it's tiring. You've got to be creative and oh. bust it out, and in between other work. So, yeah. content creation is just one part of what I do. The other part is like we, like we're on the show this morning, so we're on Espresso, and that is also we're up at five. That is so cool. Do you do? Is it every on the daily that you do Espresso? No, no, fortunately not. Okay, sure, I, I used fine. to, but I pulled out of that just because I can't keep up with um, with every morning. So I do once a week now. Thank goodness. But uh, that's in and out, in and around other shoots for other shows or, or other productions. That's cool. And anything that you guys are currently shooting is different from the norm? Um, we, we, so we're focusing on our Twitch a lot. So Twitch is um, it's live streaming video games predominantly. So is that where other people watch you play? Yes. Like yeah, you put on like a production there, like an, like an entertainment, like a live show. Um, and games generally are the center of that production. So. Um, you still got to think it like an insane. You can't just go. I'm just going to play games and people are going to watch me. You've got to think right. like how and you I'm talk going. Talk and you like yeah. 
what am I doing to engage the audience? Yeah. What mechanics can viewers interact with that happen live? Um, how could you incentivize people playing with you? How do you incentivize like a community event? Um, how there do you... a lot of people that Twitch for it? Live stream Twitch, yeah. Yeah, in the country? Like yeah, there's a fair the amount. Okay. Um, well, I would say there's probably about, in my, probably about 100 people, okay. um, which I think is pretty good. A lot of like professionals, as in that. Oh, right, professionals? Probably do it full time, maybe 10 or 20, okay. so not crazy amounts. I think. To be honest with you, I don't think any anybody is a full-time streamer exclusively in South Africa. You have to be very um, niche to do that. You, most people, like other content creation, you have to juggle a few balls at the same time. There's a little yeah, bit of income here, a little bit of income here, and then that kind of makes up your, your income. So what people see on Instagram from big celebrities and stuff, often, you know, that's not where the lion's share of their yeah. finances are coming from. They're trying to... They get a little bit here, a little bit so there. They get the engagement, grow the following, and then they'll like have partnerships with other brands. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you've got. Yeah, I'm so fortunate because I've got a, I've got a, I've got a relationship with Suzuki. So, um, they have let me use the Swift for the last couple of years, and it is incredible. So this is the Swift Sport, so it's not just an ordinary Swift. Uh, although the ordinary Swifts are great, but what makes this different and sets it apart is that it's got a, a turbo engine. So. Crazy. I think it kicks out 103 kilowatts, which is pretty formidable for that size. It weighs nothing, so it's yeah, it weighs, it weighs under a ton. Of a pocket it's, clo it's close to a ton, it weighs under a ton. But um, uh, as you can see, there's a baby on board. <laughs> the color is like perfect. Yeah, it, it matches. Works. Um, yeah, and uh, it's it's just really it's just an incredible car. The, the in is it a good family car? Um, it's a, it's, it's a, yeah, no, no, it's a good family car, weirdly <laughs> enough. There's an ISOFIX base clip in the boot, in the, in the, I always find it crazy when it's like smaller cars with the ISOFIX, but I'm like, this isn't that small. Like, the interior, like the cabin space is relatively big compared to the size of the car, and its heart is huge, but it's like... But, yeah, no, I love the interiors, there. and you, I'll show you in a little bit, like, how they, how they are, but, you know, you've got a full, like, Android Auto, uh, set up in front of you, uh, this is an automatic... Uh, which is great. Nice. Yeah, very, very cool. And when we kick off, you'll just feel how that engine goes off. Though the steering wheel is a racing wheel, so you'll see oh, the... You've got the flat bottom. No, 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 still not... not like yeah, still, still round. Still round, but, but all the, the, the paddles, the, the mm. gear paddles on the side, if you want to... you use the paddles for the um, No. I feel like the gearboxes I've, are so smart nowadays, you don't really need to... I've used the paddles if we, we've taken the car to a racetrack. Nice. So, like, then we'll <laughs> use the paddles, because then I'm actually, like kind of forcing the forcing yeah. the gears um, uh, but but yeah and that's what it's kind of useful if you're, in, if you're in a stick on the road there's a truck coming you can like shift up, yeah, yeah. you shift up to what you know um, but yeah it's a it's 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 a really really nice car oh man oh, I'd love you to take me for a spin and yeah maybe then you can go play some games maybe I'll watch you tonight so this car is, I love the red <laughs> accents on a yellow car. Right. It is so cute. It's so brave and zippy. It feels like a go-kart, doesn't it? Like, it does. Yay. Yes, it does. <laughs> 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 okay, no, that works. Um, nah, I dig this car, man. It's just, it's one of those cars that has aged so beautifully. I don't know, how old is this car now? I think uh, this is the 2017 model. Um, it does not feel like a yeah. car that's five years old. 2017, 2018. Yeah, it does not. It like it honestly feels like even the design is timeless. And like with the Swift in general, the whole range of Swifts, like you very, it's not often you see like a, a like an upgrade in design because it's so timeless it's as it is. Like, right? You don't need to change it. You know, nah, this is. It just feels modern every solid. year it comes out. Nah, I dig it. I dig the little touchscreen. Yeah, it's got a full, like, this is the Android, the Android Auto ecosystem, which is great. Um, Aircon, obviously. Um, and then you see all the controllers on the hill, the pe pedals, those paddles. Yeah, when well, you pretend to be a lot more racy. Yeah, you know, Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously, the, the, the volume switches and everything. So, is this like your, um, how in love with this car are you? Very emotionally attached to this car. So, when um, I met Amble, I picked up in this car and I had yellow hair because I usually, I usually, I'm going back to yellow and I usually have bright yellow hair. And um, I uh, like she fell in love with me in this car and it's kind of been like our date. Our first date was a car date because of COVID. We basically spent the day in the Jeez, car. Uh, how 
heat is that and uh, as a result like like we've just been such a big part of our relationship does she have a name the car no, i'm struggling to give her a name because i don't want to like a typical bumblebee or yeah you know like every time i think of a name i go like i'm diminutizing this yeah the spirit of uh, uh, of the sport so so you know does that make sense <laughs> it does make sense i tell you my jeep doesn't have a name but I, can't, I like i've been wanting to give a name <laughs> bumblebee was on the cards definitely of course. um there, uh, we had another one on the on like you know set aside but again it just was it easier car, naming a baby way easier naming a baby <laughs> literally named jamie after the first the first, that was my first idea, Jamie. And she was like, oh, okay, cool. Done, it Jamie. works. Done. Yeah. Can't Sorry. name my car because I'm too attached to it. <laughs> but can name my child. Oh, that's crazy, man. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a, I've got a very strong attachment to this, this one. It, and you and your better half, like you both into gaming. Is that like how you guys met? No, we met, we met on Hinge. Um, no, how cool is that, man? I've got a friend who got married to somebody that they met on Tinder. And oh, yeah, they've yeah. been married for, like, I think three years now. Yeah, like, I, like you can't bash dating apps. You see, it's the thing is, meeting people, no matter how you meet people, is still important. You know, it's still about the person that you're meeting. Oh, absolutely. It doesn't matter about the medium. And, uh, yeah, no, we met on Hinge, and uh, it was amazing. Like, we just kicked it off day one. That is so In this cool. car. <laughs> and did she know? Well, obviously, she knew who you were. No, well, she didn't. Um, so, she, she's also a gamer. She actually has a Twitch channel. Uh, she also plays games professionally, but she just didn't know. Who it was. She wasn't focused on YouTube or didn't okay. watch TV. Uh, so, yeah, like, it was, it was nice. It was actually really nice, like, connecting with somebody that... Um, didn't know who I was. You know. What games have you been playing recently that's different or new? So I've been playing a lot, I play a lot of Overwatch. Overwatch is like my favorite game, which is a team-based competitive shooter. Do you know what that is? Well, it was pretty self-explanatory there, I think. It's a team-based competitive <laughs> first-person shooter, yes. And in Afrikaans? Uh, a spun-based. <laughs> what is based? Is spun oh, no. It's like a team effort. Spun -poging. Poging. Competitive? Um, competent. Span competent. Eerste persoon spelletje. Skitter. Skitter spelletje. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so that's the game I play. The sequel's coming out very soon. Very excited about it. That's my main game. It's really hard with the baby. Are you very good? I'm okay. Not great, but I just enjoy it. It's not about how good you are with games. Games are about having fun. So it's not about like how good you 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 end up being. But yeah, so I'm very excited about it. And as a content creator, it's nice to see that there's more, there's a new game to speak about. That's always That's important. Cool. It's like yeah. getting new cars to drive. Like if we right. had to drive the same stuff over and over, which is cool. I thought you were going to say like, what's that? <sighs> that one that every replace? Probably not Modern Warfare. That's probably so old. No, Modern what's, Warfare's still going. So, what's that other thing? Um, oh, mine, mine. Probably. Roblox? Is Minecraft a thing? Yeah, Minecraft's a thing, yeah. Okay. Is that also that's getting still played going, like yeah. that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's still getting played a lot. Yeah. Super Mario? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's still getting played. Really? Yeah. Nice. Oh, you're a okay. tunny, eh? Sure, very, very old tunny. <laughs> Jeez, uh, listen, no, wait, contrast? Is it contrast? Do you remember that? Contra. No. Con contra. Contrast! Contra! <laughs> contrast! <laughs> listen, I was a kid, I couldn't even read properly. Like it was just this big buff oak, like shooting things. And does that? No, that probably doesn't. That's a good idea for no, a that's comeback. Quite, yeah. Here we go. I want royalties. Okay. But yeah, it's really, it's really nice being like a content creator in the scene right now in games specifically because it's especially in South Africa, not many people like have a tradition of gaming. You know, very few people like kind of took gaming into their adult life. Yeah. Um, I think we were just told that it's for it's. Uh, for children and for little boys and a lot of us kind of gave up on it But I was just I really enjoy playing games and I never stopped and a lot of adults are now kind of picking it back up again And it's nice to be a content creator in that space because you want to one of the few ones of my age that's still um, You know fully invested and fully involved and in can games. you make some good money on this yeah i mean you can definitely if you're a broadcaster or an entertainer if you've got a really good business model around what you're creating you can definitely make money um, is your size of your following the most important or like how does that work because i've seen people with very little kind of followers or likes whatever you call them and 
they like get a lot of gigs. They do a lot of jobs. It's like, got, no, but it's got nothing it get... to. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with the audience size. The most okay. important metric on social media is engagement, which okay. is like the quality of your audience. Like, what are they? Are they? Are they interested in what you're doing? Because anybody can buy followers. Yeah. Anybody can like amass a huge amount of people, but not everybody can have an engaging social media platform. And, and then so also commenting, liking. Yeah, and just like gigs. if you're a thought leader, you genuinely are a thought leader. You 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 you're, you're driving people's opinions and sparking debate and discussion. And whatever the topic that you're discussing and talk, talking about becomes the point of conversation, right? And that's what's important. That's what brands want when they work with you. Uh, I'm not talking about reviews. You, you can't get paid to do reviews. No. That stuff is, that's actually like completely unethical. But if you're a thought leader and you are shaping how people uh, start thinking about, you know, products or how to use technology or like how to use a camera to take ama- like your, your phone camera to take amazing videos can you start a YouTube video with just your phone the answer is definitely yes but nice. like it's one of those things where like that's where you as a thought leader can start a conversation in the morning on social media and that becomes like a key part of the the conversation the, the, the public dialogue especially in your circles so it doesn't matter about your audience size but if your circles are very engaged with what you're doing yeah. that's what people want I said yeah that, but that's the way people should be looking at things and you see it on the daily where I'm like okay cool someone's got a hundred thousand followers but they've got like two comments maybe ten likes and then you start questioning things but it is that engaging thing like if we do content if we share press images we get a couple of likes the second we share an image that we took ourselves and you can see this is like as authentic and as true as you can get game changer so it is how you engage with your audience you that and when I mean quality of audience as well it's like the people the kind of people that follow you are also important so that they're like genuinely interested in the content that you're talking about they are potential buyers or yeah. they are potential uh, people that want to hear what you have to say you know and that's it's not it's not the same as somebody like uh, with just anybody you know yeah oh, man, so where are we going? very interesting gonna go drop me off this date is done are oh, we going straight to the thing yes okay oh just get started listen i'm too scared to be in a car with you for too long because you just end up marrying people that drive with you so <laughs> i'm out <laughs> you can only get married once uh no no, <laughs> no let's hope let's hope for the well, best hope. <laughs> oh yeah what of course no she's cute i hope I she's hope cute it. you guys are a cute couple and wishing you all the best and you Thank went you. all out with that proposal i'm still like <laughs> setting the bar very high thank you very very high no i liked it Good job. should um, we should we do the wedding drive in in the sport you should sorry you should. you should that's actually a very good idea authentic content real life how fast do you want to go all of it Apex, the peak of South African motoring.